Hello, I am Jakob Lovitz, and I'm a mechanical engineer. And I'm Niklas Bull, and I'm a software engineer. We are here to tell you about our project, the 5-axis laser cutter. So, Niklas, what is a 5-axis laser cutter? So, so you probably know a 3-axis laser cutter. Um, you will see this in the Fab Labs and in the Megaspaces, um, and you're probably all used uh, one of these to, to, to make uh, some, of, some of your projects. Um, and, you know, they can cut in like pretty much two directions and the table can sometimes also move up, up and down, um, which will give like a two dimensional uh, cutting space. Then we've uh, added two, um, two axes. Um, so, so our laser cutter can also cut, uh, or, or the laser can also turn in the A and B axis. So, so the laser can actually cut up to 45 degrees angle, um, which will, yeah, give some new, uh, like, yeah, freedom of ideas and yeah, make new things possible. Um, so we can cut slopes um, also. But uh, tell us a little bit, bit about the background. Yes, <clears throat> it started a while ago. I was I was looking at what people were making with laser cutters in in Fab Labs and Makerspaces, and I could see that a lot of the shapes that people were building were these boxy geometries. Uh, so on the on the screen you will see a speaker, which is a box which is assembled with finger joints, and that was a very typical shape uh, that is made on a laser cutter, but if you have a speaker that is a different shape uh, like this one it's a speaker i designed uh, some years ago and it's made up of a lot of parts with uh, with sloped sides like the one shown here and i thought okay if i could just find a a, a five axis laser cutter this would be really really easy to make and i i did find uh, some five axis laser cutters around but they were they were this uh, this type of equipment that you see here on the screen so so big industrial machines uh, not at all accessible for the the average hobbyist or the average maker so the speaker uh, was built the old-fashioned way with hand tools like the one shown. But once the speaker was finished, I thought there was something about this laser cutter that that was interesting. I I want one. I want access to one of these machines. So I I teamed up with Nicholas and we uh, we started discussing what how we could attack this problem. And so, so the idea is to, 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 to build something that's uh, like achievable and somewhat uh, affordable, um, and that you wouldn't need um, special equipment or special access to, to be able to build. Um, so, so, so what we did 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 was to uh, get a laser cutter from from the internet, like just a, just a regular one. Um, and then we have modified this. Um, so we have uh, designed and, uh, and uh, built a, uh, a customized head, uh, which will al allow for the, for the two additional access to, to, uh, to, to operate the laser uh, or to, to, um, to uh, manipulate the, uh, the direction of the laser. Um, and in order to do that, we of course needed more stepper drivers. Um, and most laser cutters come with a with a controlling unit, which is very um, like you can't just yeah change that. So we basically just took an uh, an Arduino Mega uh, and used the DRL Mega Five um, library, which 
is a uh, is a uh, controlling the um, this the uh, stepper drivers, um, and then we, like we could use utilize the the power um, source and yeah, and the um, air ventilation and like everything else is basically there for for the initial setup. Um, and then of course we needed some some uh, G code instructions to to cut the actual models. Um, and there were uh, uh, there were no um, programs or uh, tools that we could use to uh, to um, to uh, generate these um, these instructions. So so we used the uh, the SketchUp application, and then we built a a, a customized extension to that. Uh, so you can make your model, and then you can analyze it, and then the uh, the extension will. Will cal will calculate the um, the G code instructions in order to to be able to um, cut this um, cut this uh, like uh, yeah to cut the model on a on a five axis uh, laser cutter um, and this is the uh, like this is the real deal this is a picture of uh, of the one that is behind uh, <laughs> Jacob in his in his basement. Um, it is working um, right now, and but we're still in the uh, in the optimization and like calibration um, yeah process. Um, but we can show you a video of uh, how it is how it is cutting. Um, so, so the laser head that was in the video was uh, was something that that was made in a machine shop. Um, so it was milled out of, of of aluminium, basically, and and it worked nice. It was a nice uh, nice laser head, but it was the problem with it was it, it was not very uh, accessible because it. For you to make it, you need access to a machine shop and you would need the skills uh, to operate the machines in the machine shop. So we wanted uh, the project to be more uh, targeted the, the maker uh, movement. So we redesigned the head uh, and instead of basing it on, on milling, we based it on 3D print. So the head that is now on the machine looks like this. Uh, made out of 3D printed parts. Right. Let's move over to the workflow. I'll now give a demo of the extensions in SketchUp that we're using for generating the G-code. So here in SketchUp, I have the geometry that I want to cut. In this case, it's a little block with some slope size, some chain for edges. 
Uh, so the extension is split up into five parts. The first part uh, analyzes the model. You see turn screen here, which means that everything is okay. Next thing, the program uh, marks which faces are going to be cut. And so in this, in this case, it's all the sides that's going to be cut. The next thing the program group does is it calculates the position where the laser head will be while cutting. Then the uh, program calculates the trajectory. So it's both the uh, cut lines, as we saw before, but it's also the transport uh, moves between the cuts. And now it's ready to export the G-code. Let's call it G-codes. So G-code is a, is a readable code. Uh, which is uh, used by CNC machines and laser cutters and 3D printers. And it basically has instructions um, for, uh, for the speed and the, uh, and the position of the motors. Uh, so it tells the motors uh, how to move and how fast to do it. Um, and this code here we can feed directly into the uh, Arduino Mega which can then execute it. So, so now that you've seen the, uh, the uh, demonstration of the, of the workflow flow and like how we use our system, then uh, we might have intrigued you to build your own. Um, in that case, we've made this uh, list of what you need to do. So first, you need to buy a laser cutter. Um, and then you need to replace the electronics um, with an Arduino Mega, Mega, and then you know download the GRBL Mega Five library. Um, and there's probably also some uh, some other electronics that you might need to to to, to replace. We added some extra wiring and some uh, yeah, stubbers and and well, it it depends on the laser cutter that you. That, that you buy what you need to do, like how much you need to change. Um, and of course you need to add the, uh, this, the, uh, the strap drivers to control the A and B um, directions. Um, and then if um, you have a 3D printer, you can, you can download uh, the files that we made it. Um, so you can, you can print your own five axis laser head. Um, and it looks like this, the uh, GitHub repository. Um, pretty straightforward, and we've also put, made a GitHub repository for the extension, uh, which was shown in the demonstration. And yeah, these are the Rubik scripts. Um, should also be straightforward. Uh, just da, 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 da. And so this is basically where we are. So we have a functional um, five axis laser cutter um, with the library and everything. So these days we are uh, optimizing and uh, and uh, calibrating and yeah, getting somewhere. Um, yeah. So to round this off, I when you look at what people make with ordinary laser cutters. Uh, you see that they are being used for a lot of, of interesting stuff. Um, and we, uh, we have now added with the five axis laser cutter instead of the three axis, we have added even more possibilities. So we are really excited uh, to see what, what people will create with this uh, technology that we have here. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope to hear from some of you. Please, please keep in touch if you plan to build your own laser cutter. Yep.